AB Calculus Note Card 23, The Chain Rule. This is the 23rd video lesson series inspired by Stacy McMullen, formerly the Dallas Independent School District, who developed this note card system. Okay. Here we have the different items 1, 2, and 3, and we're going to concentrate on items 2 and 3 here. And item 2, ddx of f of g of x, or the composition of a function, is f prime of g of x, or f prime of the or the first derivative of the inside function times the derivative, or g prime of x, of the inside function. And then there's item 3, d dx of u to the power of n equals n, so that's like the power rule, u to the n minus 1 times the derivative of u. So this times the derivative of the u is, so you're looking at the power rule except for this derivative of the u. And what this tells us is the chain rule is always active. Now, we may not notice it, and we don't notice it because, or haven't so far in our lessons, because we've been talking about not composition of functions. So we've had just uh, maybe uh, ddx of, of x squared, okay? And then, so the chain rule wouldn't be apparent because we're going to have 2x and x to the power of n minus 1, so the 1 so times the derivative of x. Well, what is the derivative of x? Well, derivative of x is 1. And so we've been using the chain rule, except we haven't noticed it so far. Okay. Now we're going to go with some problems. Differentiate problems 1 through 4. So, again, I'm just going to write up here this ddx of u to the power of n is going to be equal to n times u to the power of n minus 1 times u prime, or the derivative of the inside. So let's go and apply this. Now for number one, we have this quantity x cubed plus 7 to the third power. And we could expand this, this function out and take the derivative quite easily, but it would take some involvement with the expansion of a expression to the third power. So what we do is we treat this whole quantity here, x cubed plus 7, is our u. And so what we have is f prime of x is equal to 3. We take that 3 out front, just like the power rule, and then we bring down this x cubed plus 7 untouched. We just leave that alone, and then we take this 3 minus 1 and make that 2 here, times the derivative of the inside, the derivative of x cubed plus 7, is going to be 3x squared. And then the only thing we can do from here is kind of simplify this 3 times the 3x squared, which is going to be equal to 9, x squared, then we have quantity x cubed plus 7 squared. So that's problem number one, using the chain rule. Problem number two, f of x equals cosecant 3x. And we're going to work these problems in combination with other rules we've we've known so far. And so we have uh, we go to our trigonometry derivatives. If we put down negative cotangent cosecant cosecant our derivative of cosecant is going to be it's like we cross out one of these 
cosecants. It's going to be negative cotangent cosecant. And so I'm going to put there f prime of x is equal to, I'm going to bring this one fifth out front and that's going to be derivative of that is going to be negative cotangent 3x cosecant 3x now what we have is the derivative of the inside and derivative of the inside is the derivative of 3x which is 3. So now simplifying we have a negative sign here and a 3 on the outside so we're going to get negative 3 fifths cotangent 3x cosecant 3x so there it is our first derivative here okay this next problem 3 which uh, we have we're going to treat this we have a product of two functions because we have x and then we can't if we have this this radical like we we can't distribute like we normally would with the parentheses so we cannot do that so we got to treat these separate entities so we're going to say this for product rule purposes we'll call this u and the square root of quantity 2x minus 3 we'll call this v and then we can rewrite this as uh, g of x equals x times we're going to have uh, the radical here 2x minus 3 to the power of 1 half which is the same as the square root so treating this as uv I'm going to do like we've done earlier in product rule situations where we have a create a box here and cells and we're going to take u u prime v v prime and so we'll say our u is x and our derivative of x is 1. Now we're going to take our v well our v is going to be square root of 2x minus 3 and now for our derivative of our v prime where am I going to do this up here I'll say ddx of 2x minus 3 to the one half power it's going to be equal to one half 2x minus 3 to the 1 half minus 1 or negative 1 half power times the derivative of the inside which is 2 and now simplifying I'm going to write equal sign below we have 2 times 1 half which cancel each other okay they will cancel each other and then we have 1 half uh, 2x minus 3 to the 1 half power which is going to be 1 over square root of 2x minus 3 and so over here in the v prime we're going to say 1 over square root of 2x minus 3 and now for g prime of x and we'll listen down here g prime of x is equal to u uh, u v prime which is going to be x over square root of 
2x minus 3, and then we have 1 times square root of 2x minus 3. And then there'll be a there could be a factoring of this all, but this is essentially what g prime of x is. So uh, anyway, now let's get to to problem four. We have a u, we have a a product of two functions u, and v, and so we will set up our little product rule box as we have before. So we have u, u prime, v, v prime. So we have uh, u is going to be x squared, and u prime is going to be 2x. And then v is going to be sine 2x. And then what we're going to have is uh, our derivative of sine 2x is going to be cosine 2x times the derivative of the inside, derivative of 2x, which is 2. So that's going to be, I'm going to write down below, equals 2 cosine 2x. And so now y prime is going to be equal to x squared times 2 cosine 2x. So that's going to be 2x squared cosine 2x plus v times u prime. So that's going to be 2x sine 2x. And that'll be it. You can factor out a, a 2, actually factor out a 2x if you want to, equals 2x times x cosine 2x plus sine 2x. Okay, so that's number 4. Number 5, find the equation like tangent to the graph of f of x equals x times 21 minus 2x cubed at the point 1 comma negative 1. So to find the equation of a line, we need a point, which we already have here. And what do we need also? We need a slope. And it's the slope of a tangent line, so we say uh, m sub t equals we will find that out. Here we have the product of two functions. We have, uh, we'll treat this like u, v, and okay, just, I'm gonna just make a little sidebar to the right here, as we've done previously. So we have u, u prime, v, v prime, so we have u is x, and our derivative of x is 1. And then we have uh, quantity 1 minus 2x cubed. Okay. And our derivative, we're going to find the derivative of uh, 1 minus 2x cubed. So we have 1 minus 2x cubed is equal to 3 okay, out front times 1 minus 2x squared times the derivative of the inside, which is going to be negative 2. And so what that's going to be equal to is negative 6 quantity 1 minus 2x squared, and so we're going to put this over here, negative 6, 
times quantity one minus two x squared. And so uh, f prime of x is equal to uv prime, so negative six x times one minus two x squared. And then we have one times or plus one times 21 minus 2x cubed. And now we want to substitute in one to find our slope. So f prime of one is equal to negative six. Any place we see x, we'll just substitute in one. We have six times one, one minus two times one squared plus 21 minus 2 times 1 cubed. And so working below here, we have uh, negative 6. And then we have 1 minus 2. 1 minus 2, that's going to be negative 1 squared. It's going to be 1. And then here, this other expression, we have 1 minus 2 is going to be negative 1. And negative 1 cubed is going to be negative 1. And so we're going to get f prime of x is equal to negative 6 plus negative 1, or negative 7. And that's going to be equal to our m sub t. I'll put this up here, negative 7. And so using our point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so we have y minus negative 1, which is plus 1, equals m sub t, which is negative 7. And we're going to have x minus x1, which is x minus 1. So that is going to be our answer for problem number 5. Next, problem number 6. If f, g, and h are differentiable functions and h of x equals g of f of x, use the values in the table to find h prime of 4. And that brings us back to this item number 2. Right? And I just rewrote this item number 2 over here. That's all I did. But here we have a situation where we're looking at not uh, derivative of f of g of x. We're looking at the uh, okay, we're looking at uh, d dx of g of f of x. And to do that, we're going to reverse this here. We're going to have g prime of f of x times f prime of x. So we're using the same rule here, but just a, another application of it. So if we get the pieces together, okay, um, we have to find out what f of x is, and f of x and f of 4, okay, f of x of x equals f of 4, and f of 4 is equal to 5. Okay? Now, we need to find g prime of f of x. So, g prime of f of x equals g prime of 5, which equals g prime of 5, here's 5, g prime of 5 equals negative 3. Next we need to find f prime of x, 
So f prime of x equals f prime of 5. And what is f prime of? No, 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 no. F prime of 4 because we want h, h prime of 4, right? There we go. Oops. Just about me. Okay. F prime of 4 is going to be negative 1. So now we're going to say uh, okay, h prime of x is going to be equal to g prime of f of x times f prime of x. And now we're going to say h prime of 4 is equal to g prime of f of x, which is going to be the same as g prime of 5. That's going to be negative 3 times f prime of x, which is f prime of 4, which is going to be times negative 1. And so h prime of 4 is going to be negative 3 times negative 1, which is going to be 3. So anyway, those are the problems and applications we have here for the chain rule. The chain rule, again, is always active. We just maybe haven't noticed it yet because we've just used x instead of like 2x as an argument in the situation. Good luck, and thanks for viewing.